In terms, oh, it dropped. <laughs> the nothing ear stick drop. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we are going to check out the Nothing Ear Stick. So these are Nothing second wireless earbuds that looks very much the same, just like the ear ones, but it has in fact a totally different form factor. And here's what you need to know about it. And we're going to do a comparison of course with the Nothing Ear one and of course its direct competitor, the AirPods 3. So we all already know how the Nothing Ear Stick based on the teaser images that is released by Nothing. And when you take it out of the box, you start to appreciate the design that Nothing has done on this pair of wireless earbuds. Now, this is how the earbuds look like, as you see. So to take it out, you need to turn the knob right here to reveal the ear sticks just like this. And this is how you take it out of the case. And to close it back, you just need to turn the knob one more time again, and it will stay charged just like this. So it is actually a very unique looking case right here. And there's even a nothing branding right here that looks really nice as well. And this whole thing basically just looks like a lipstick with this red accent right on top. So the case here is actually very, very unique. It is made of acrylic, of course, but it is something that will get scratched in the long term. So make sure you get a case to protect it if you want to. So on top here, you get a pairing button, which is needed when you pair to other devices. And you also have a USB-C port for charging. There's no wireless charging, unfortunately, unlike the Nothing Ear ones, which you can actually just put it on the back of the Nothing Phone one or put it on any Qi wireless charging pads to charge up the earbuds. Right, so this is how the Nothing Ear Stick actually looks like. So if you look right over here, the stem actually looks very similar to the Nothing Ear ones. It's just that this side here, it looks totally different because this is not an in-ear earbuds. It is basically an on-ear and it is very, very lightweight when you first put it onto your ear. But unfortunately, this kind of form factor would also mean that it also drops up of your ear easily if you're doing gym, you're doing running, it will actually drop up of your ear very easily. So if you compare with the Nothing Ear ones, which I'm going to take it out right now, the Nothing Ear one features an in-ear design. As you can see, there is a sponge right over here that goes right into your ear canal. So the Nothing Ear one will offer better noise isolation and it also has things like active noise cancellation, which the Nothing Ear Stick doesn't have. So if you're someone that prefers to have your earbud stick outside of your ear, but not go all the way into your ear canal, the Ear Stick would be a better choice over the Nothing Ear one. In terms of fit, the AirPods 3 actually fits better in my ear as it doesn't fall easily when I'm walking or if I accidentally shake my head as compared to the Nothing Ear Stick. Now that's because the Nothing Ear Stick here has a larger case that actually sits right outside of your ear. But you know what? Compared to the AirPods 3, the Nothing Ear Stick actually feels a lot lighter and you kind of feel like nothing if you put them on your ear for a long while if you're sitting in front of the desk listening to music. So. There is actually a benefit to the Nothing Ear Sticks form factor as compared to the AirPods 3, but if you're intending to use either of these earbuds for gym or for running, the AirPods 3 is still the better pick here. Like the ear ones, the ear stick is also app enabled, which can use the app to do some customizations here. So this is how it looks like. Now, what I am very impressed with the ear stick here is that you can do a manual equalization here. So you can increase the treble level if you want to, the mids and the bass, which is one thing that you will not be able to do on the Nothing Ear one and the AirPods 3. So it has a more customizable sound experience as compared to the other two, which is something that I really like. Now, there are other features right over here, which is to change the controls of the left side or the right side, depending on which one you want. You can double pinch, triple pinch, pinch and hold, and double pinch and hold. So there are a total of four actions that you can configure on the Nothing Ear Stick, which is actually way more than the Nothing Ear ones and the AirPods 3. In terms of sound quality, the Nothing Ear Stick impressed me when I first put it on and I can't believe with such a form factor, it can produce such clear and detailed audio, especially on the instrumental side and it has really good thumpy bass, which you wouldn't expect out of this kind of wireless earbuds. In fact, I would have to say that this is probably one of the best sounding wireless earbuds that you can get out there. But when it comes to vocals, I have to say that the Nothing Ear Stick can be a little weak as compared to the AirPods 3, which is actually very strong when it comes to producing vocals. And of course, when it comes to noise isolation, you definitely do not get any sort of sound isolation on this pair of earbuds because they are actually not in your earbuds, so you gotta forgive that. But if you were to compare to the Nothing Ear One, I dare say that it actually sounds better than the Nothing Ear One. And it is actually very surprising 
for me to say this because usually I would prefer in-ear earbuds to be my usual uh, daily go-to earbuds but then for the first time I actually prefer this pair of earbuds when I'm working in front of the desk and listening to music. Next, we are going to do a microphone test on the Nothing Ear Stick and compare it to the Nothing Ear 1 and the AirPods 3. And let's do it right now. So this is a voice recording using the Nothing Ear Stick which I'm wearing right now. You guys let me know what you think about the recording quality right here. And next, we are going to switch to the Nothing Ear 1. And now I have put on the Nothing Ear 1 and this is how its microphone sound quality sounds like. And you guys let me know how it compares to the Nothing Ear Stick. And now we are going to switch over to the AirPods 3. This is how the microphone of the AirPods 3 sound like. You guys let me know in the comments down below whether it sounds better than the Nothing Ear Stick and the Nothing Ear 1. So I just briefly listened to the voice recording that I did on my phone earlier on and I find that the Nothing Ear Stick has the better microphone quality as compared to the Ear Ones and AirPods 3. But you guys let me know what you think, right? Now, in terms of battery life, Nothing says that the Nothing Ear Stick can last up to 7 hours on a single charge, which is actually very, very impressive because the AirPods 3 right here only lasts up to 6 hours on a single charge, whereas the Nothing Ear Ones will only last up to 5 hours on a single charge. But that's really forgivable because this has active noise cancellation. So yep, this one here is the battery champ as compared to the other two, and it's something that you will want to consider if you're someone who listens to a lot of music on your earbuds. All right, so yep, that's a pretty quick review on the Nothing Ear Stick right here. This Ear Stick is available at our e-store at Good Deals by KLGG for a price of 469 ringgit. And if you're interested in getting one, head over to our store in the link below to get one for yourself. So that's pretty much for today's video. Let me know what you think about the Nothing Ear Stick as compared to the Ear Ones and the AirPods 3 in the comment section down below and which one do you prefer? Do you already own one as well? Let us know everything what you have to say in the comments below. As for now, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos coming right up and we will see you in the next one.